this tutorial, you'll learn a shortcut technique for sewing spaghetti straps. The individual straps are constructed from double fold binding and extend from the bound armhole finish on each side. The binding can be left exposed along the entire application or folded under and top stitched at the armhole edges. For best results, the spaghetti strap binding should be cut from the same fabric as the dress or blouse it finishes, unless a contrast effect is desired. Double fold binding is constructed from bias fabric strips that are cut four times the width of the finished folded binding. To cover the entire length of the armhole and spaghetti strap, you may need to sew continuous bias binding, but you can skip this step if the individual fabric strip is long enough to cover this distance. Always finish the front and back neckline edges first before moving on to the spaghetti strap binding application. Start by folding the bias strip down the center with wrong sides touching and iron to crease. Next, fold each lengthwise edge in towards the binding's wrong side such that the edges meet at the center crease line. Iron both folded edges. Pre-folding the bias fabric strip and ironing the fold lines prior to sewing the binding to the garment will provide useful stitching guidelines as well as allow it to fold much easier in the application process. You can also use a binding folder to facilitate ironing the bias strip in this appropriate position. Lastly, fold the binding one more time down the center to fully enclose all raw edges. Iron this final fold. For a 1 inch bias strip like the one used in this tutorial, the finished double fold binding will now measure a quarter of an inch in width. At this point, do not sew the blouse side seam until after the spaghetti straps are attached. Open the folded binding and starting at the underarm side seam edges, align one of the binding edges to the front armhole edge with fabric face sides touching. Insert pins perpendicular to the edges to keep the layers in place. Pin the binding until you arrive at the finished neckline edge. It is crucial that you know the exact length of the spaghetti straps. In this case, the spaghetti strap length is 10.5 inches. Measure 10.5 inches from the pin neckline edge and mark the binding with a pin inserted horizontally. Align the back neckline edge with the pin or tailor's chalk mark and all fabric face sides touching. Insert pins perpendicular to the edges as you continue aligning the binding to the rest of the armhole edge. Repeat the alignment and pinning process with the other spaghetti strap. Thank <laughs> you. 
stitch the binding to both front and back armholes separately. Use the binding fold lines as a guide. Next, wrap the pre-folded binding around the armhole such that all raw edges are enclosed and insert a few pins to secure. The closed double-fold binding should now form an almost completed spaghetti strap extension. Working from the face side of the garment, stitch the binding closed along the armhole edges and entire spaghetti strap length. Use the seam and the fold lines as a guide in the process. stitched binding to smooth and flatten it. Next, align the blouse side seam edges with right sides touching and insert pins perpendicularly to secure. Stitch the seam at the designated seam allowance. You should stitch through the binding layers at the top, treating them as a continuation of the seam. Once stitched, clean finish the seam allowance layers as needed. To complete the seams, iron them with the seam allowance open as shown. application, fold the binding inward towards the wrong side of the garment and iron the finished armhole edges in this position. Insert pins through the binding and garment layer. From the wrong side of the armhole, stitch through the binding and garment layer underneath following the binding's inner folded edge as a guide. armhole edges and spaghetti straps for a smooth professional finish. Mm -hmm. 